Ning is back to the company to fight against Cesar after a short leave. Now an investigation from Blessy revealed that Cesar is embezzling fans from the company and Team Ning has to do everything in their power to stop him. You will see in this update how Tim Ning is planning to fight against Cesar. This is a Broken Promise episode and I'm here to let you know what will happen in this update. Some of you are asking that we do the update in English. That is why we are doing this particular update in English to see how you are going to react with it. So your input, how you watch this video and how you like and react to it will determine whether our subsequent update will be in English or three. So if you are here and then you want this update to always be in English, kindly like this video, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you really, really watch this video to the end so that you receive a positive positive feedback and then we will continue giving this update in english but otherwise they may have to return back to our key update now let me know what you think about this in the comment section and then let's move on to this update and see how it's going to go we begin this episode with blessing speaking with someone saying let's meet later and I will show you our files. Meanwhile, Cesar, who was then hiding listening to a conversation, showed up and asked, Why are you still here? Because Blessy has already submitted her resignation letter days back. So Cesar never expected Blessy to show up in the office. So when he asked Blessy why she is still there, she answered, She has 30 days to organize files and documents for John Over. So as they were speaking with Cesar, telling her to um, leave that side of the work to him because um, he can handle it, just then Ning also appears. Cesar was surprised that Ning was um, in the office at that time because Ning has also taken a leave from the company so he never expected her to show up. Meanwhile, Blessy tells Cesar that Ning is the rightful heir to the company even though he is the executive director of the company it doesn't mean Ning cannot show up at any time she has every right to come back to the company anytime she pleases meanwhile Sessa said it's been a while since she came back to the office hope everything is okay Ning said thanks for your genuine concern papa and I left because I couldn't handle the pressure but I'm okay now, I can breathe now, so don't worry about me, just worry about yourself. This statement didn't go down well with Cesar, and then he asked, what do you mean? Because he felt threatened by these words of Ning, and then Ning said, I'll be taking over the company as director and as president. Soon actually, very soon, which sounds challenging and very, very threatening to Cesar. For a moment, Cesar couldn't utter a word and then Ning added, But for now, I will just come back here as designer, marketing officer and the next in line as director of this company. So for now, I will be working closely with you, Cesar, and then I will keep a very good eye on you. Then Cesar said, I have no problem with that. You really should be the one to take over this company. Gemma is not here and I only stood in place of her for a very short time. So anytime you want to take over the position, you are free to do so. Cesar called Stella and informed her about Ning's return to the company. Meanwhile, C Stella, who was not happy with this decision, questioned um, Cesar why he allowed Ning to come back to the company. And then he said, I didn't have any control over it. I tried my best, but I couldn't because Blessy used the law on me. But then Stella said, but she would definitely have a sneak peek at you in the company. Uh, so how do you how do you solve that? Cesar said, why don't you keep quiet Stella? That is the problem with you. You are a crackhead. Before Stella realized, Cesar has hung up the call. Team Ning comprising of Ning, Tony and Blessy together with their lawyer met to discuss the way forward and how to treat Cesar. Meanwhile, Blessy found out that something weird is going on in the company and there has been a money smuggling and embezzlement of funds in the company which they suspected to be no one but Cesar. At this point, Ning regretted allowing or agreeing to Cesar to marry her mom. But Tony said, Ning, this is not your fault. 
you and your mom were manipulated by your stepdad, Cesar. Blessy also said, even though it's embarrassing to admit, I have a part to play in this because I agreed to their union also. That's why I'm doing all this to make it up for Gemma. Ning said, what if mom doesn't help us and what if we are the ones who are wrong here in her eyes? What are you going to do then? Then Tony said, don't be discouraged, Ning. We are about to press your uncle Cesar with his own tactics. And then Ning said, how can we help mom if she's the one supporting Cesar himself? It seems like my mother is the one willing to be the victim here. Then Blessy tells Ning, Ning, no one is willing to be a victim willingly. Often, abused victims are unaware that they are being abused and that they lost their power when this happens. I understand why your mother is really blind to this situation. It's really hard to identify any abusive partner. But we are the ones outside and see your uncle's wrongdoings. So we we'll use this so that we can help your mom get rid of Cesar. Ning, I know your opponent is difficult. But just think about what you will lose if you allow your fear to get ahead of you. Your mom is first. You must always believe this. You must always put your mom first. And then Ning said, you are right. Mom can't fight now, so we must defend her. I will put Cesar in his place. I swear to God. He will pay for everything he has done and is doing to mom. Cesar informs his uncle Idong about how Ning team up with Blessy to fight against him. Idong couldn't help but laugh and then Cesar asked, why are you laughing? And then he said, because you haven't learned anything, Cesar. How many times have those girls suspected you? And Cesar said, you know, I always get away with it. Idong said, first of all, you will not be suspected if you are polished but smelly. And then Cesar asked, who did I inherit from and who did I learn this from? And then Idong said, you are my graduate, but you look like a pity. Meanwhile, Cesar informed him that he has to draw a large sum of amount, that is 20 million, from Gemma's account, which he was happy to have achieved. And then Idong asked, so that's all you got from your wife's wealth? This is very small and then Cesar said, I am not done yet. I still have them and I still have more plans. Meanwhile, Cesar is planning to sell some of Gemma's property. Meanwhile, um, he has forgotten that all those properties are protected by the premium they signed during their marriage. Chung laughed and he asked, Chung, don't you trust me? You know, I have Gemma by the neck. I control everything. Meanwhile, Tony went to the house to check up on Gemma. He met Toto, the security guard, and asked how Gemma is doing because he's dead to see how Gemma is doing. The security guard tells him he doesn't know what's going on in the house because the cameras are broken. The only camera working is the one outside. And then Tony asked, is that so? And then Toto said, Cesar told me he will fix it. But then nothing happened. Tony saw a car approaching and because of that he has to flee from there and then ask the security guard to, to call him if anything happens. Stella came and then asked the security guard why he was talking to Tony and he said he came to check up on Madame and then Stella tells him this is the last time he will talk to Tony or anyone close to Ning. Otherwise, he will face the consequences. Now, this is really threatening and then let's see if the security guard is going to continue helping Tim Ning. We have the next update and the next episode in store for you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Like this video and share this video. And then let us meet in the next episode of Broken Promise.